Terry TT here. I'm here to film the last video of 2019. I've tried to get this video done all week and it's just been super crazy here uh, at the Mermaid Cottage. I'm sitting on the floor between my tree and my refrigerator. Um, so I just wanted to wish you all a very Merry Christmas and let you know that this is the last video for this year and I'll probably not be back to the second week of January. I'm just totally taking downtime for family and to focus and be present for Christmas and New Year's and everything that's going on here. It's been a crazy week here. Um, some of you may have seen on Instagram that my neighbor's dog broke its leg, um, which was it, unbelievable. Her and I, no one's ever home on the street during the week. It's mostly weekenders. Or if the people are here full time, they're old, like really old. So um, it was just her and I in the house, and we didn't know how we were going to get the dog. And the dog actually bit her, which he's, she has never, ever done anything like this. The most gentle doggy. Anyway, y'all, it was horrible. So it ended up that my bug guy was coming over here to spray for a bug and check bugs and check for termites, his yearly thing. I called him to come across the street and help us. And then the UPS guy came up. It's just the right time. We managed to get her loaded in the car. Long story short, um, they thought she might have this certain cancer that greyhounds are prone to. She did not. It looks like she does not have that, but she did break her leg in two places and it has to be amputated. It just, it just can't be repaired. But she's resting comfortably this morning. She had the surgery last night or yesterday afternoon. And she's already standing and eating this morning. So I'm just, it's been nuts around here. Plus, I've been wrapping packages and getting ready for everybody to get here, for us to leave here to go to Houston and then come back with a load of people and blah, blah, blah. Uh, but I didn't want the year to end without me coming on and saying Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Thank you for all your support. I know I've gotten a lot of new subscribers. Um, I was going to do another, uh, I, I've changed a bunch of things in the house up for Christmas, but you know, with all the Vlogmas, I, did, I don't know, do any of y'all feel like Vlogmas is starting to seem repetitive somehow? Like, I don't know, like the same old stuff. No, I'm not doing Vlogmas, obviously, but I think you've seen enough Christmas house tours. I even did one, um, so you don't need an updated tour, but let's see what's going on. I have a few things to finish up today, and then Scott and I are going to kind of have a down weekend. Uh, well, not really, because <laughs> we've got to do all our laundry. We've got to pack for Houston, and I'm baking some things. I'm cooking and freezing a casserole to take to Megan's, and then we've got to get the house totally ready because Luke and Layla are coming back with us on that Friday after Christmas, and Colin, Lexi, and Lorelai are meeting us here. Probably we're going to drive up at the same time, so I have to have all that stuff ready for them to be visiting. So it's going to be extremely exciting and fun. So I thought that um, I would leave y'all with two videos. I've posted them before, but I have a lot of, lot of new subscribers, so they might want to watch them. I'm just going to leave you with two videos. One that I took at Christmas in London two Christmases ago. I think it was two or one Christmas. Was it last year? I think it was the year before last. Um, we did London and we did Paris. And I did a lot of videos on those, but I did particularly two that I cobbled together that were mainly Christmas decorations and all those things. And it was amazing. So I'm going to link those now at the end of this video. And um, if you like those, you can go to my playlist and look up, I think it says London and Paris vlogs and different things like that if you want to see more videos of those trips or any of my past trips. I have a million Paris. There's probably another Paris playlist too. But I will leave you with that. Everybody have a Merry Christmas, a wonderful Happy New Year. And to coin a phrase, don't forget that Jesus is the reason for the season, obviously. Um, we're excited to go to church on Sunday. You know, I think I've told y'all we go to this tiny, tiny church right here near us. And um, this one old man, y'all, he makes candy. I think it's candy for everyone in the church. And he brings it and passes it out. And tomorrow's the, uh, this is the Sunday he's going to do it. So um, 
he's just real proud of it. We we got our candy last year. It was our first year to be there, so we got our candy last year. So it's just so sweet to see how kind and generous people are. And, and even here with the dog, um, the guy that did our termites and stuff, he was over there, and he told me as we were walking across the street that he was really afraid of dogs. He's been bit before as he's spraying people's houses for bugs, and he still braved it and helped us with the dog. That was in biting mode, you know. You know UPS guys are on a schedule and a timer, but he stayed, and he came right in, and he helped uh, us carry the dog to the car and get her in there. So people are just so kind and sweet, and um, it was just amazing. So anyway, I'm going to let you go. I'm going to link the videos, and I will see you in 2020. Bye-bye.